Today we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Friday, May 27, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Los Angeles Angels vs Toronto Blue Jays. Our team pick is. Toronto Blue Jays, and here is why. The Blue Jays will start up and coming a select Mano against the Halos on Friday evening. He gave up a run over 8 innings in Saturday's win over the Reds. Mano allowed 7 hits and struck out 4. According to Basabalsavan.com, he generated multiple whiffs on each of his 4 seam fastball, slider, and sinker. Mano completed 8 innings for the first time this season, and the second time in his career, 28 career starts. The only wrinkle on his night came on a Joey Votto RBI double in the top of the fourth. He will take a pristine 1.62 ERA and 0.88 whip into this tough matchup against a deadly Angels lineup. The Angels will give impressive rookie Chase Silseth another start for Game 2 of this series on Friday. He allowed three runs with six strikeouts across four S innings in a loss against the Athletics last weekend. Silseth got another start for the Angles after his successful debut when he threw six scoreless innings. He had a tough go this time around. Jed Laurie got the scoring started with a solo homer in the first inning. Two base hits and a walk would load the bases before Silseth got Luis Barrera to ground out to get escape the jam. He held the Athletics to the one run through four innings until Seth Brown launched a two-run homer in the fifth. He was listed after 93 pitches in the middling start. According to Basabalsavan.com, he generated 13 whiffs to strike out six batters. He has a 2.61 ERA and 1.06 in only 10.1 innings of work. He will get another start against a tough Blue Jays lineup. I'm going to stay with the Blue Jays. Mano has been on a nice run for most of the year. In his last two outings, he's got 14.0 innings with just two earned on 12 hits and zero walks. As for Silseth, his first start, 6.0 innings, one hit, no earned, was much better than his second start, 4.1 innings, there earned. That said I think he'll do fine here as well. Should be a fun matchup, but overall I think the Jays have the advantage win-wise. Our total pick is, over and here is why. The Angels will give impressive rookie Chase Silseth another start for Game 2 of this series on Friday. He allowed three runs with six strikeouts across four S innings in a loss against the Athletics last weekend. He was excellent in his first start of the year, but struggled against one of the worst defenses in the majors. This is a good bounce back spot for the youngster at home, but the Blue Jays are more than capable of slapping around the rookie. I expect the Angels to win the game and put up a nice number on Mano, but the Jays can get a hold of the rookie here as well. The total number has gone over in four of their last five meetings. Further, the total has gone over in four of La's last five games facing Al East teams. Seattle Mariners vs Houston Astros. Our team pick is. Houston minus 1.5 runs. And here is why. The Houston Astros come into this weekend series in first place in the Al West with a 29-16 record and a two-game winning streak. In addition, the Astros are 6-4 in their last 10 games as they just wrapped up a 5-2 home stand. On Wednesday, the Astros squeaked past the Guardians 2-1 thanks to a stellar starting performance from converted reliever Christian Javier. Javier went 5.2 innings and allowed just three hits and no runs. He also struck out nine batters and walked just one. Five Astros relievers combined to go 3.1 innings of one hit one run relief. Offensively, the Astros scratched across two runs on just seven hits. After winning 90 games in 2021 and adding power bats Jesse Winker and Eugenio Suarez from Cincinnati in a trade and signing 2021 Al Cy Young Award winner Robbie Ray in the offseason, expectations were sky high for the Mariners in 2022. Unfortunately, the Mariners have struggled away from home this season and find themselves in last place entering Friday night's action. A recent 3-7 road trip left the Mariners 10 games below .500 on the road, despite their winning record at home. The tough road trip carried over to the start of this home stand, as the Mariners dropped two out of three games to the lowly Oakland A's. On Wednesday, the Mariners made it eight losses in ten games with a 4-2 loss to the A's. Ray continued his less-than-stellar debut with the Mariners, going six innings and allowing seven hits and three runs, including two home runs. 
Ray has now allowed 10 home runs already this season and is just 4-5 as he struggles in his role as Mariners ace. This looks like a pitching mismatch on paper for the opener of the series. Verlander has not allowed a run in three starts and, while Seattle was actually the last team to score a run off of him, the Astros still won comfortably 7-2. Flexen comes into this game ice cold, including off of his shortest outing of the season. The Astros should take full advantage of his propensity for giving up the long ball as the third-ranked team in MLB in home runs per game. I fully expect the Astros hitting, which has been far better on the road than at home, to take Flexen deep on more than one occasion in this game. Look for the Astros to build up a comfortable lead and Verlander to get his team into the seventh inning for a relatively easy opening series win. Our total pick is. Under the total. Oakland Athletics vs Texas Rangers. Our team pick is. Athletics for the win, and here is why. After playing some horrendous baseball the first two weeks of the season, Texas has since steadied to move into third place in the Al West and managed a two-game split with the Los Angeles Angels with a 7-2 win on Wednesday. Mitch Garver opened the scoring in the top of the first with a sack fly, before hitting a go-ahead homer in the fourth, with Cole Calhoun also going deep on a two-run shot later in the inning. Glenn Otto turned in one of the best outings of his young career with five innings of one run ball, allowing three hits and two walks, while striking out seven. Calhoun went three to four with a double, a homer, two RBI and three runs scored. Oakland expected to be in rebuilding mode this year after the fire sale in the offseason, and indeed has struggled for the most part, but was able to pick up a series win over the Seattle Mariners including a 4-2 victory in Wednesday's rubber game. Seth Brown broke a scoreless tie in the fourth with a solo homer before Elvis Andrus extended the lead in the sixth on a two-run shot. Paul Blackburn continued his fantastic campaign with 5.1 scoreless innings to earn the win, allowing only one hit in five walks, while striking out two. Danny Jimenez tossed a scoreless ninth for his tenth save. Brown added a double in addition to the homer, while scoring a pair of runs on the afternoon. While still nowhere close to contention, Oakland has looked a little better than most expected heading into the season thanks to a solid pitching staff including a great showing from Irvin so far. Texas still has plenty of flaws despite its recent solid form and will struggle to score enough runs in this matchup to support Gray. After posting solid numbers last season, Irvin has pitched well to begin 2022 with a 90 ERA thanks to his ability to limit walks, and the shoulder injury apparently isn't bothering him as he turned in a good outing against the Angels' loaded offense last time out. Texas's offense only has a 91 WRC plus despite numerous offices and additions, with Marcus Emi and struggling miserably with his new team after signing a massive free agent contract. Gray is solid, but Oakland will have the advantage in the late innings with a bullpen that is 11th in ERA thanks to late inning options like Jimenez and Sam Mole emerging out of nowhere to post dominant numbers. There's not much to separate these teams, and in this pitching matchup it's worth it to back Oakland at plus odds. Our total pick is, under 7, and here is why. The offenses have been brutal in the first quarter of the regular season, and that does not seem to be changing in this game. Neither team are drawing walks to get free base runners as the Athletics are tied for 25th in the sport with 121 team walks, while the Rangers are right behind them and 28th with 119 walks as a team. No base runners and not much power is a recipe for low-scoring games. The under is 5-0 to 1 in their previous six Texas games as well as being 5-2-2 in the last nine Oakland home games. All in all, go with under seven runs here. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.